In this video, we're going to demonstrate the images following the barium swallow exam. We're going to demonstrate the PAO oblique projection in the REO position, AP projection, PA projection, and PA oblique projection of the stomach in REO, and finally the lateral projection. The first projection we're going to show is the overhead radiograph of the REO esophagram. The technologist is going to use a 14 by 17 cassette placed lengthwise in the buggy. She's going to place her right marker in the top right corner of the cassette and center the table to the bottom. With 40 inch SID, she's going to place her patient from the prone position to a 35 to 40 degree rotation and center at the level of T5, T6 and 2 inches lateral to MSP. She's going to collimate into an 8 inch field. With the technique at 110 kVp and 8 mass, she's going to give the patient drinking instructions. Keep drinking, keep drinking. For the next projection, we're going to be demonstrating the AP stomach. In this projection, we're going to see the entire stomach and the duodenum filled with barium. So the technologist is going to continue to use a 14 bar cassette placed lengthwise, and she's going to change her marker to a left marker in the top left corner. She's going to keep her SID at 40 inches, making sure the Table is centered to the button. With her patient remaining supine, she's going to center at the level halfway between the xiphoid tip and the lower rib margin. Finally, the technologist is going to set her technique at 100 kVp at 12 mass and instruct the patient to suspend respiration at the end of the Easy breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Don't breathe. Deep. For this projection, we're going to do the lateral stomach. This projection is going to demonstrate the right gast retrogastric space, the anterior and posterior aspect of the stomach, pyloric canal, duodenal bulb, duodenal jejunum junction the entire stomach and the duodenal loop. The technologist is going to position her patient in the right lateral position. With the cassette remaining 14 by 17 lengthwise, she's gonna place her right marker in the top corner with SID remaining at 40 and the table still centered to the bucky. She's going to center at the level of MCP and one to two inches above the lower rib margin. Finally, the technologist is going to set her technique at 100 kVp at 12 mass and instruct the patient to suspend respiration at the end of expiration. Take a deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Don't breathe. Okay. Deep. The next projection we're going to do is the PA projection of the stomach. This is going to show the contour of the stomach filled with barium. Ashley is going to place the lengthwise cassette 14 by 17. Her marker placements on the left side. SID should be 40 inches. She's 
She will place the, the patient is in a prone position. Centering will be level of MSP at two inches above lower rib margin. Now that the patient is positioned, Ashley will set the technique at 100 kVp at 10 mass and instruct the patient to suspend respiration at the end of expiration. Take a deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Don't breathe. Deep. The last position we'll be demonstrating is the PA oblique projection, RAO, which will show the entire duodenum loop and pyloric canal. Ashley will check to make sure that we have a 14 by 17 set and we'll have it placed lengthwise. Her right marker will be placed at the top of the cassette. She will then check the SID for 40 inches. Next, she will check the patient and put him in position. The degree of rotation should be 40 to 70 degrees in RAO position. Next, the centering should be at the level of halfway between the spine and elevated lateral border of the abdomen. Next, we're going to set the technique at 100 kVp at 10 mass. Ashley will then instruct the patient to suspend respiration at the end of expiration. Take a deep breath in, blow it out, and hold it out. Don't breathe. Deep. This completes our overhead projections.